Welcome back guys to a new Boom Beach video. Today we're going to have a little fun. We're going to be attempting to take down Duplexy. I'm just kidding. I'm going to be attacking Duplexy for my first time um, not on a development build. So we're going to hit start operation. There's like, this is my old task force. They were nice enough to get a bunch of intel for me to waste. But there's still a couple active players that hopefully will leave soon because the task force is dead. But um... We're going to be attempting to take down, not take down, we're going to be attacking one of the dual core bases. Now, I have no clue how to attack these. I've never seen videos out yet on how, I, I haven't seen videos out yet on how to attack these bases. But these are some rough looking bases, so we're just going to train up Zookas. Probably not the best idea. And we're going to be trying out one of these bases. Now, I, I want a cool base. Deja Vu, maybe? would be an interesting one there's two cores maybe i could take out the left i'm just kidding guys <laughs> i'm not gonna get anywhere i'm not even gonna be able to make a dent to this base or any of these bases for that matter i really want to attack the base that has the headquarters on the beach because i feel like i can actually deal a little bit of damage um i'm seeing if anyone was typing in the chat these cores have 90 million hp <laughs> Oh man, Trinity? What's Trinity? I don't think Trinity it was it. No. Okay. Oh, it, it was actually. Okay. So, how can I do this in a way that would make me a winner? <laughs> um, okay, so what I'm seeing here is there's a grappler hook. But if we could stay out of range of the grappler hook, the rocket launcher will be out of range. Uh, the flotsam will be in range, so we'll have to take down the flotsam. Uh, I don't know how because it's a freaking flotsam and those things are kind of hard to destroy and then the microwaver is there also we kind of have to destroy so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna actually get uh, all grenadiers because I feel like you know Zookas would be cool Zookas I'd be able to shock stuff Zookas would deal a lot of damage but grenadiers will be able to help out our team the most and help us win not win, but get farther. Okay, let's hit scout. We'll scout it one more time. I'm gonna bring um, Brick. Is that the best hero I could bring? You know, Ever Spark would be a cool hero to bring. Um, that would allow me to get critters down to take down mines ahead of buildings. So, is the extra damage from bullet? Yeah, I believe the extra damage from bullet would be worth it. Okay, here we go. Not gonna be good. Um, I'm gonna get. How are you gonna do this? I need to take down like this one flotsam that's just sitting there. Drop all of our troops. Get a shock down immediately. Oh, I missed the shock. Cool. We'll shock it. <laughs> uh, we'll activate. We'll activate bullet here, and we'll drop a flare to the flotsam, and we'll start taking out the flotsam. We'll keep shocking it. We'll get a med kit down, cause stuff is happening and that's not gonna work okay let's drop a ray flare back a little get out of range of all of these defenses and hopefully the flotsam is not in range and if it is uh, for the first couple grenadiers it's fine but it doesn't look like it is in range which is good we'll activate bullet again and we'll take down that stupid microwaver so I don't know how to take down this base, but I have a feeling I'm on the right path. I'm pretty sure people would take out the shields. Looking at like a high level task force, I feel like they would take out the shields because the problem is guys, is these cores have a ton of HP each and there's two of them. So if you are able to take out all the shields, it helps you not just on one core, but on the other core as well and it'll help you burn the core. And you can even just drop shocks and maybe take it out using shocks also. Um, but I feel like for this base especially, they'll drop, or high level task forces, will drop four to five attacks to take down the shields or something. Now I haven't watched any task forces take down these, so I don't know if that's how they do it. That's just me guessing, so we'll see if I might test my knowledge and watch back and see if it that's how it is but as soon as this microwaver is taken out 
my troops should all focus on the core um, and that will allow us to take out the buildings behind the core grab some more energy the flotsam is not gonna go down so we're just gonna ignore it for now ignore your uh, problems until they disappear the off our task force was able to just take down one of these cores using like 10 attacks for burning the shield with boosted damage Good, our troops are working, putting in some work. I really can't do much. I could drop critters to take out some of the mines, um, but I don't want to waste my energy. I would love to activate bullet, I mean, brick again. That would be very cool. I'm getting that double, triple, quadruple. Is that the fourth time boosting? I believe it was. So that quad battle orders down. Um, we're taking down a lot of the power cells, which is giving me energy. I could activate it now. Let's do it. We'll get get our troops unloading some shells everywhere. And it looks like 50 seconds has gone by pretty fast. We kind of have to drop a flare on it to take it out. We'll drop critters also because my troops are walking everywhere. Maybe not the smartest idea, but taking out the flotsam now is going to help our later attacks and our later uh, hitters. So right now, all of my grenadiers are out of range. I am going to run out of time, but we were able to take down like 100,000 HP off of the Flotsams, which in my book is good enough. We get one more attack like this, someone will be able to take out two of the Flotsams and deal some decent damage to the core. Good job, grenadiers. You did an awesome job. We were able to clear part of the base. Let's scout it out here. People are chatting in our chat. What? What the F? Fusion, why did you do that? Nice. Sector not clear. Why Why are we doing the hardest op in the game? I'm sorry, guys. This task force is dead. If I can't scare off people one way, I'm going to start this and do it on my own. Okay. I took off quite a bit. Shield. Uh, a lot of shield. That shield is... What the heck? <laughs> What's the HP on this base, guys? This is insane. Is that like... Oh, it's, it's only a thousand? It looks like more. It says current shield, 25 million. Then it's adding an additional 276 million. HP on the core. You have to take out the shields if you want to break that shield. You have to take out those shields, the shield generators. But we took down a lot of the flotsam. We took down a lot of that flotsam. One more grenadier hit, or even zookas, if you shock, will be enough to take down those. And now you can just park the core and hit the base. And then we'll take down one core of one base, which will be crazy. To make a travel start rolling out for you guys, um, for people around the world tonight. Um, so, and we got our shadow. Pretty cool. One day, 11 hours. So, whenever that shadow is reaches zero, it'll come up and it'll appear. You guys know the deal. But, um, this mega crab is going to be a lot of fun. The statue, the decoration looks insane. The... Um, gumbo to energy gained from destroying buildings is insane. You get at uh, when it's maxed out, so late late stages, um, you'll get nine gumbo to energy, or 200% energy gained from destroying a building, instead of the usual three gumbo to energy, um, which is crazy. It's gonna help so much taking down higher level bases. But on a different note, guys, it's honestly going to be one of the best Mega Crabs ever. Just getting a lot of gumbo to energy is so much fun, even though it's a lot easier to get higher and they raise the diamond statue up to stage 70. It's still so much fun trying to get it, and uh, I would love to do it. I would love to try pushing. Um, we're going to have to see if my schedule permits. But um, it would be a lot of fun if I was able to push and see how far I could get during Mega Crab. So, get some shocks down, take, uh, shock out those micro waivers. I honestly don't care if I lose 
many troops here. I do have a lot of energy. I'm just going to unload critters and unload some artilleries on that core. Very, very nice. But um, let me know down below which Mega Crab stage you guys are going to try to push to. At least going to get to stage 40 to unlock the gold statue. That's a guarantee. Then I'll kind of gauge up see how far it will be how much time I have to take down to rest because I really can't be on all day but um, we'll see how far we can get you know let's have a blast all grenadiers are fun and all but if you are able to use a couple boats of medics it will help you a lot I'm wasting a lot of energy healing out my grenadiers when if I only had a medic or even one boat of medics that would help a lot then I can, you, you know, I can reallocate my energy to something else like a shock launcher or a, a boom cannon, taking down a boom cannon, which is what I'm doing now. We'll also take down the shock launcher, cool, and looks like my hero will stay in front of my, my grenadiers on this side, so I really don't need to worry about that rocket launcher, but I am a little worried about that boom cannon down there, taking out a few of my grenadiers, cool. Uh, let's save up for a med kit to heal up some of my grenadiers. Actually, no, yeah, we're good. We're good. We'll activate bullet though. Activated bullet deals a lot of initial damage if he's close to a building. So it's always a good idea if you need to just deal with a little more damage. You don't even need to use him just for healing. You can use his ability just to take down a certain building that he's close to. Okay, we'll do one more base. Then I'll probably end the video. Um, if you guys want me to do more Task Force videos, I'm sorry. If you guys want Task Force stuff, go watch Zedmot or Crazy Turtle or one of those guys. But look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Four gold statues. All gold, guys. Oh, come on. No. He has one eye. Or Ooh, I need to activate. Oh, shoot. My hero. Oh, no. Will I be able to take down this base? I'm going to spend so much energy. Oops, 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 oops. That's a mistake. That's a mistake. I'm going to spend so much energy just healing out my troops. Spending way too much energy taking down boom cannons. I need med kits. Heal up my troops. Come on. <laughs> he has three granite. Oh, man. There's no way. Okay, we're going to get critters down. They're all focused on the headquarters, which is nice. Um, actually, only like two grenadiers are focused on the headquarters. Most of them are focused on the hot pots. And some are focused on... There we go. Most of them are focused on the headquarters now. We'll be able to do it just because grenadiers are insane. But, um, I hope you guys did enjoy the video of me trying to hit duplexy for the first time. Uh, if you guys did like it, make sure you drop a like as always. And I'll talk to you guys in the next Boom Beach video. Bye.